What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here. And the first thing you notice is yes, my face cam is all the way up top now, a little smaller. That's because uh, I don't want the face cam obstructing the left or the right side of the screen because then you can't see the card text. And some people don't know what the cards do, and it's always good to be able to read it. So, I did get to uh, rank 5, which is Diamond. I thought that was S rank, but I guess S rank is only 0. Um, I didn't even know diamond was a thing, but I don't really mind. Uh, it's another checkpoint, like diamond, gold, silver, like t rank 20, rank 10, rank 5. Those are all checkpoints. So now I can, like, if I go on a 50 game losing streak right now, I'm still rank 5. So it's a nice little cushion there. Um, to get here, I've mostly been playing, actually only been playing that, uh, that Lionar deck. Um, this deck minor mid-range that I showed last uh, ranked video and it's pretty good but the last couple of games I've been playing this of a Trivian mid-range deck again I don't think it's quite as reliable but I'm going to do that in this video because last video I played with the Lion R deck so I'll do that in this video and let's see if I can get a win I opened a couple uh, spirit orbs I I did get a legendary and I also got another legendary just from some kind of achievement and just popped up on my screen. It's always good to get expensive cards because even if they don't slot right into a deck you're using right now, you can always disenchant them and be able to make cards that you need. Or it always goes a long way to uh, hopefully eventually completing a set of cards, which I want to do. So I'm going first and well, we are playing against somebody who has a lot of experience. What is that? Seven, that's 700 wins, 800, 1,000, 1,300 wins on this account, Karabi. <laughs> Let's see if I can win here. Don't let him get another win. Um, I'll get rid of those, I guess. Okay. I do have things I can play early on, but not really ideal. I'll get rid of the MR healer, see what I can replace that. Sion's first wish. Well, I guess I'll just play the Promise Fist with no extra effect other than a 2-3 on the first turn. I didn't really just want to play the Doomcaster, because then it's just a 2-1. He's playing the new Magmar General, which is Bloodborne spell. Both players draw a card. Um, a Rocky Headhunter. Greater fortitude. Okay, that's a big dude now. Whenever you summon a in with an opening gamut from your action bar, gain plus two attack. Got it. Now, the issue here is I can't really play the Fireblaze Obelisk. Well, I can. Yeah, I guess I can. Um. I'll play, the, I'll play the Fire Blaze Obelisk. Or I could just Prime a Shield Master. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of the Fire Blaze Obelisk. So. Let's do it like this. Just provoke. And. I'll just make this a little beefier. That's good to have Dispel. In case this thing becomes huge, I can reset it with a second energy. Next turn I'll have four mana to work with most likely. And I don't have a clear play to do. I do have a uh, Dervish that's going to be able to be summoned next turn. Mechazor, is he having a Mechazor deck? You know, I think I know what this deck is now. Well, kind of. It's a Mechazor deck and actually worked really well because all the Mechazor units have opening gambit. And that uh, Sinvia is really well with the Iraqi Headhunter. Okay, well, 
I could just kill this with a dervish. I could just siphon energy in it and it would die outright. Which is what I think I want to do. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the, I think, Starfire Scarab. Because I can, I'll can, i have four. That's so going to be cost two, cost one. Mm, actually, I won't play this. I'll just... I'll pay three. Let's actually let's keep my. Actually, I'm deciding what I want to do. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. Okay, we have a choice here. I can play the Dune Caster. And kill something and I keep this. Or I can play the Fireblaze Obelisk. I'll play, I think the Obelisk is better. And what do we want to kill? Probably the Sword of Mechazor, right? Yeah, I'll do the Sword of Mechazor. I'll play this back here. Don't love playing it there. Whatever. I just kind of want to get it away from the Rocky Headhunter because I don't know how much attack that's going to have after this turn. And I don't mind that I didn't replace there. I have a lot of, I like having a lot of options. A lot of the, the, my current options I like, I mean. Elucidator. Okay. Fine. I can get rid of that with a Entropic Decay. Yeah, I'm not really in a position to run away and play a uh, Starfire Scarab, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Um, he only has one Mechazor out so far, that's pretty good I guess. I'm pretty sure it's a Mechazor deck. Mechazor deck. So, I could just Saber Spine Tiger and play that to kill that, but... Is that, is that better? Oh, that, that saves that card. It saves my Entropic Decay for something even bigger for next turn. Now nah, I want to save that for maybe even killing the general. So I will destroy this. And I'll just kill this while I can. And it's a close game. I have seven more health than him. Um, but it's his turn now, so he's going to be able to fill up the board. I top decked a pretty good card for this point in the game. It Dominate Will. I can't quite play it next turn. The turn after, it can really. It's a really game swinging card when you can uh, simultaneously uh, disable a big unit for the opponent and then also bring it to your side. Chassis of Mechazor. Let's run away a bit. And Wings of Mechazor. Okay. This turn I think I should just Amar Healer. Or I can... No, I'm not gonna Amar Healer. I'm actually not even going to sacrifice right now. Well, is it possible for me to win? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no. I'm, like, very short. Uh, let's go ahead and... I can't do all that either. I can't do everything in my hand. Maybe I do just play the Amara healer. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the Amara.
and I will keep my hand. It can deal a lot of damage very quickly. Yeah, so we can just trade these two creatures if he wants, but he would lose five health, and I'd lose, I'd gain five health. And it's always, you always want to have like a slot open. Oh, that kind of hurts. Oh well, at least he loses five health. I could take that to my side with a uh, Entropic Decay. He's 5-4 mana though. Okay, I'll draw a card. Fireblaze Obelisk. So right now we can get a Dervish up to... Up to how much? Right now we can get a Dervish at... 2 attack, 4 attack... 5 attack, 6 attack, or 5 attack plus a Saber Swine Tiger. That's 3, but there's no, there's not a 100% chance that the Dervish spawns where I wanted to. Mm. Is that even a, 2, 3, 4, 7. Yeah, it would be, alright, should I just take the risk and see if I can win this turn I guess I could take the risk I think I have a higher chance up here of the dervish spawning in the right place oh did not spawn where I wanted to, so. Oh well, we'll just do it like this then. Not the end of the world. And in that case, with the current board structure, it's kind of good to do that. And. I guess that'll be my turn. We had a. What? What was it? 40% chance to win that turn by doing that play. I guess I took it anyways because even if it didn't work out, it was still an effective play. I cleared his board and we have a threat on the board. So this coming turn, I might be able to win. Is that enough of the Mechazord yet? I guess it is. So we got to get a move on here. War Beast. Okay, can we win? Yeah, we can definitely win. GG. I don't want to toss the premature well played once he ends his turn. That's called a Mechazor a little too late. I've had many losses like this when I'm playing a Mechazor deck. Or you think, yes, I finally got the mechas over, then you just leave, then it forces you to almost leave yourself open. Because all I have to do is attack with my scarab. Oh. No, actually. It's not game. Well, it is game. Because I have enough to, I have, to I have enough to win. It's, at least the scarab doesn't attack, though. All I have to do... Right, play this, that's three, plus two is five, six, yeah. Don't even have, don't even have to use a dervish. Well played. Let my general get the last hit. Good game, Karabi. Give you five gold for that one. And creeping closer. We're at about 15 minutes. We might be able to. Well, I mean, we're gonna squeeze another game in. Hopefully, it doesn't go above a 30 minute video. I don't like uploading over 30 minutes regularly. It's not the end of the world.
I think uh, two matches of Duelist is actually the perfect amount for a YouTube video. I'd love if this ends up being two wins. That is much better than a win and a loss. I'm not sure if Petruvian's better going first or second. I think I've had more success going second just with the extra mana. Petruvian versus Songhai. Nez. Going first, I do have a turn one play. I have uh, options for a turn one play, actually. We don't need this right away, and we... I guess I'll replace that, too, because I kind of want a Dune Caster to pair with this stuff. Well, we're going to go full on Dervish, I guess. Um, yeah, instead of playing the Power Master, I'd rather just go full on Dervish here. Because I have so many of these, I'll replace it. Actually, you'll you'll rarely see a replace of a uh, place down here, so I can play something right there uh, without moving and get the mana spring. You rarely see a replace of uh, a that little blast guy on turn one. This is a great turn one play when there's not really. A lot of threat against him. You could put him on the back of the board, but seeing seeing all these obelisks in my hand, it makes me greedy. So hopefully they're not dispelled. Hope not. Next turn, I will have probably I guess four mana to to work with, maybe five. Lantern Fox. Hate that guy. <laughs> Is he really going to be able to kill that? No. Interesting choice there because doesn't this guy draw when he takes damage? Not. Yeah, not when he deals damage. So I think that was kind of a waste of a card there by Naz. Maybe he thought it was the other way around. So I can dispel. Well, let's replace this first. We're not going to be able to play this for so long. Nice. Dunecaster. So, I can dispel this just to make him not draw a card. Do I want to trade a dispel with any card he can draw? Probably not. Um, I could have a total of five mana to play with, which mm, move up here. I can put a fire blaze up there. And then I can, yeah, I do like that. Let's go for it. So we're going to move up, put down a fire blaze. I messed it up. <laughs> Miss flying at my finest. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to dispel this. <laughs> And deal some face damage. And now you can just easily destroy that. I messed it up so badly. I always put things in the wrong order. Actually, no, I, that was impossible for me to do. I was thinking like I was thinking cor incorrectly there. I couldn't have done that because I couldn't walk onto a uh, mana spring. Well, if that was a misplay. And then some. Because that Lantern Fox could be dead right now, and this Obelisk could be most likely surviving now. Darn. <sighs> that'll be Sage, and that'll be his turn. Okay, so I can play. Yeah, I'll play another one of these. And then if I'll have four attack dervishes. Right? Four attack dervishes, that's good. 
and then can't really get down there though well I'll do this wind shroud where's it gonna spawn okay and then we put this down so I can kill this I will actually get rid of the provoked yet. I think we're gonna go for a quick win here. I'll destroy this. And I'll deal some face damage. Okay, we're looking good. He has two things he should probably provoke, but he might not have any provoke. He is probably going to be able to get up a big threat down here, but... Okay, so I assume he's going to... Yeah, he's going to be able to destroy that. Anything else to play? Good, no. Let's spawn something I can... Darn. That is the only spot of all five spots that I can't do any damage to his general with. And... That does hurt quite a bit, actually. Hmm. Gonna get rid of the Primus Fist. Another Amara healer. Well, I'm just gonna make a big creature then. There's not really a, a lot else I can do here. Let's, let's see what I draw. Welp. Could kill this right now. But now that I've committed to making a pretty strong thing here, I don't feel like doing that. Let's protect its back. Play Dunecaster. Okay, we're protecting its back. And I'll deal some damage. Well, we'll be able to have back-to-back -back turns with Amara healers, so that's good. Very strong units. Here, okay, protecting our two more important units on the board. Uh, protecting their back speed is song high. Uh, a lot of backstab stuff like that guy up there. Oh, we can actually easily do a backstab my general. That's kind of stupid. He just has to kill this with his general. Move two down with his gore horn. He can deal a ton of damage. Oops. At least I'll deal some damage to him. He only has three cards in hand. Not like a whole lot. So it's, uh, it's not like he's going to suddenly win the game in the next turn or two. Or maybe. The game's going to be won pretty quickly in Duelist. Especially with Songhai. Such a un Songhai scares me the most out of all the factions. Um, I probably like playing against it the least because it's so unexpected. There's so many spells they can do to just like deal boatload of damage in one turn. I like how they don't really have a good way to clear boards though, but I don't really, I guess this is like a medium spammy deck with all the dervishes. It's not, it's nothing like Abyssian though, in terms of spammy units. Chakri Avatar, blink, where are you going to put that? Okay, he's going to go ahead and finally kill that. Fine. Lantern Fox. Okay. So I can trade with this. Though I'd love if I can have this survive, actually. That's probably asking for too much, though. I'm gonna... Get rid of the... Well, I can... Pl Maybe I don't do an Amara Healer. Because I can play a... I can play a Saber some Tiger to guild this while it's still small. That would cost three, and then I can also play a Promises combined with this for another three damage. But then I don't want him to draw cards here. Uh, that's tough. Let's see what happens. 
Let's play one. That's really not smart playing by me. Like, let's see what happens. Uh... Um... I don't know if that was the best play right there. <laughs> Can't really tell. <laughs> Ended up taking 5 damage on my journal, but I cleared his board. Was there a better way to go about that? I don't know. Annie drew a card. Well, now I go back to back Amara healers. And he has to kind of deal with this 5 attack unit. Doesn't have to, but... Oh, well, that deals with it. At least he's running out of cards. Only one card left. And is he going to play it? Does Kenny afford it? Yes, he can. And it's just going to let him kill Slung, but he's going to get another one of these Arcanist thingies. He's going to get another one of those. Wow. How do I deal with those little guys? Let's get rid of the Fireblaze Obelisk. I want to go back to back MR healers. I don't want those dealing damage to my general. So I'm. Yeah, so I'm gonna like provoke them all. And I'm not really that afraid of. Backstab things coming out of nowhere this turn because he only has one card in his hand, so he can't really do anything. This game is different from Scrolls in that, like, when the opponent only has a card in their hands or two cards, I feel very safe because you can only replace it with one other card. Whereas in Scrolls, when you sacrifice a card for for more cards, you get two more, which you can do a lot more with two cards than one card. So, uh, even though he's had a bit of a comeback here, I think I am the heavy favorite to win at this point. Still. Next turn, I can play an Amara Healer plus a Scion Second Wish if this Amara Healer survives. Probably replace the Starfire Scarab. Maybe even take him out of my deck, I'm not sure. Yeah, they must have a healer is not going to survive. Well, at least it kills all of them. And our health on our generals is even more lopsided. You know, I really don't mind when my opponent plays this card. He's playing like a 2-4 for 3, which is, I guess, like, not that good for a 3 cost. It doesn't really do a whole lot. And then its ability is a positive uh, extra card every turn for both players. It helps your opponent as well as you, so I don't really love it. Just my two cents. Uh, let's get rid of this. Do I have the win, by the way? That would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, so not quite. I could kill this, but like I said, I don't really want to. Um, what I will do... is protect my back now and yeah I'll play this just to get some extra damage in too bad I couldn't sign second wish it don't have enough mana for that what do we draw promise shield master and a dune caster yeah now we draw two things per turn and a dune caster can synergize very well with a uh, wind shroud next turn which would be enough damage to kill this He's going to have to somehow uh, uh, do some kind of dispel on the Aymara healer. Dispel on it. Because even if he's able to destroy it, that means he loses. <laughs> because if it's Dying Wish, it deals 5 damage to the enemy general. The game is kind of dragging on, but... I 
think it's going to be over in the next turn or two in my favor. Don't want to be too confident though. Songhai scares me. <laughs> but he only has a couple cards in his hand. My dad is going to be able to put off, put off my win for much longer. And we're just over 30 minutes for the video guys. Thank you all for sticking with it this long. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. I've noticed my duelist videos don't really haven't been really getting as many views as my scrolls videos. And now that my duelist videos are my scrolls videos, I haven't getting as many views as they used to get on my channel. That's understandable when you take a when you take like a eight month break off of YouTube. <laughs> so that makes sense. But I wish we more people would watch the duelist ones. So if you play duelist, uh, please spread the word around that I am uploading duelist videos. And hopefully I'm a decent player now because I am in diamond rank on my way to S rank. So thanks for watching everybody. Oh, forgot to 75 gold. Sorry, man. It was a good game. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.